We earlier on mentioned that uh, an atom is made out of a nucleus and uh, electrons in a shell. For instance, if that were an atom of copper, you would have a nucleus and uh, electrons flowing around. Now, this copper wire that I've drawn here is a bunch of many copper atoms connected next to each other. Now, the, if, you remember, if you remember from electrostatics, we talked of atoms losing electrons and the electrostatic this effect is more pronounced with insulators because insulators generally don't easily lose electrons through flowing through itself so that's why when we hold it and wrap it stays charged and you could see that we could attract a piece of paper but anyway we have atoms in the copper and when we apply a voltage across uh, potential difference um, energy sort of uh, uh, is supplied and electrons will flow. Now you remember that famous experiment in physics where you carry a load to the top of the hill, it gains potential energy. Uh, you have to put in energy into it and potential energy is basically the energy possessed by an object by virtue of its position in a field. In this case in the field of gravity, when you lift it up it gains potential energy. That's why at point two it's very easy to take it to point one by simply folding it it's losing potential energy to fall down and that's the same idea when you apply a voltage across uh, uh, the wire that is potential energy so you find that uh, the, uh, the positive charges on the positive side will basically flow to the negative side while electrons flow from the negative side to the positive side now you may notice that in electricity uh, or it's actually electrons that flow that's because electrons have a very light actually very light compared to protons so a uh, current is actually the flow of electrons but by convention uh, we tend to indicate uh, uh, the flow of current uh, by the positive charge uh, the direction in which the positive charge would move so if you know the direction in which the electrons are actually flowing, the opposite is where the current will be indicated to be flowing. And that's what uh, we see in this illustration. So when you apply a potential, uh, electrons will flow towards the positive uh, terminal. And that's the idea of uh, current electricity.